SpongeBob, Legend of the Lost Spatula for the Game Boy Color, but I'm playing it on a Game Boy Advance. Uh, I'm at the level, if you've played this game, then you know what level it is. It's the Kalpazoic Jungle, and it's a really difficult level. So if you've never played this game before, I'll tell you that B is to jump, A is to use your weapon, um, and our lives work like they have a system. Okay, so you have your maximum health is your hall monitor uniform, which I don't have on. Medium health is your square pants, and your low health is your undergarments like this right now. And when you lose that, uh, you die. Kind of like the Spongebob Battle for Bikini Bottom uh, live deal. Did I? Yeah, I died. Unfortunately. This is a good game. I like it. It's rather difficult, though, honestly. A lot of people don't like it for its controls and its difficulty level, but I find it enjoyable. Um, it's just fun to mess around in. I wish it was more of an open world like Spongebob game. It kind of is, but it's also sort of linear. Do I need this warp deal, or can I... Okay, I can't go past there. Uh... I... Don't know, actually. This game does have a lot of Spongebob episode references in it. Like, there's a beach, and you can go to the the Goo Lagoon. That's the beach. And um, if you, you know, I mean, if you go up to someone with the D-pad, uh, if you, if you go, up with, go up to someone and then press uh, up on the D-pad, you can actually speak to them. Or they'll they'll speak to you, I guess. And you can get uh, some some people will say different things. And then if you're in the beach at the beach level, uh, SpongeBob will rip his pants, just like he did in the, the episode where he did that. And that's a nice touch because this game's from 2001, so there are quite a bit of oh man, quite a bit of SpongeBob early SpongeBob episode references in it, and it's nice. Dang it! Trying to get out of here. Okay, I'll show you the other parts of the game. What? I'll show you the other parts of the game after this. Avoid him. Nope. Go, 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 go. Yes, yes, yes. No! Ugh. If I can get out of here. Mmm. No, 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 no. Run away, run away. Yes, downtown. Oh, thank you. So here we are downtown. Cabozoic Jungle? No, thank you. I do not like that level. The Krusty Krab. Hurry up, SpongeBob. The pizza is getting cold. Yeah, uh, you deliver a pizza in this game, much like Spider-Man 2. Out of town. Yeah, those clams do not jump in the air when they come by, and if they hit you, you, you lose your life. And since... He's in his undergarments right now. If I were to get hit, uh, I would die. Go away, SpongeBob. My friends might see you. I must be too cool for your friends. Don't want me hanging around. The oven knobs are hidden around Bikini Bottom. There's like special oven knobs that unlock a, a statue, I believe. Leads to a tunnel where you eventually fight the Flying Dutchman. Are you the TV repairman? No, I am not, actually. Nice try, though. Please, SpongeBob, class is over. Go away. Yeah, she gave us the hall monitor uniform at the beginning of the game. And here's Goo Lagoon. You can speak to people. Oh, whoops. Oh yeah, we can't swim, which is accurate because in one of the Spongebob episodes, uh, Spongebob and Patrick don't know how to swim. No! So you, uh, you can blow bubbles at, uh, bad guys or use a variety of other weapons like I have 
here in my uh, equip item selection. So we have a bubble wand, a net gun, which is used in one of the SpongeBob episodes to trap uh, random citizens because SpongeBob and Patrick thought that they were alien creatures. So these are all the items that I have so far. That's the net. The net catches little creatures. It's very handy. Spring shoes uh, make you bounce really high in the air, which is awesome. Oh, I thought that was a bad guy. Let's see what Larry says. Boy, am I ripped. So are my pants. Yeah, he ripped his pants. Funny, funny stuff. And then if you speak to her, you know, he'll rip his pants again. And a lot of people got mad in the show because Spongebob was ripping his pants constantly. Everybody got tired of it. Jellyfish Fields. Okay, we'll go there. And I do not own the music in this game. Aw. If I jump on this, I can bounce pretty high in the air. There I go. Aw, oh, man. Sandy's Park. What does Sandy have to say? Where, did she, where was she, anyway? Was she here? That must be further back. Aw. Oh, bubble Bass. He's not a very nice sea creature. Aw. Oh, man. There, Sandy Spark. There's Sandy. Any luck getting my hat back? Yeah, I'm, uh, you're supposed to get Sandy's hat back. Uh, there's levels where you complete tasks for different people. Um, it's quite an intuitive game, you know, with a lot of stuff going for it. So it is a good game. Uh, if you are a fan of SpongeBob, I would recommend picking it up. Hey, Spongebob, have you found my shorts yet? Yeah, Spongebob, uh, Spongebob was supposed to find Patrick's shorts, um, at a carnival. Squidward, well, he just doesn't want to talk to us. Gary, well, he can't speak, really. And what about... Last, last person we'll talk to is Plankton. Plankton. Oh, man... Uh, remember to jump. Jump! Oh, that, I thought that was going to be a little too late. Alright, here's Plankton. All I want is a... All I want is Krabby Patty. I can see two things wrong here. First of all, there is no A. Second of all, I'm pretty sure... I'm, I'm not... Entirely... Positive, but I, I I thought that Krabby was spelt with a K for Krabby Patty in in the SpongeBob TV series. I could be wrong though, but I thought it was spelt with a K. I think I'm thinking of the Krusty Krab because the Krusty Krab is spelt with two Ks, Krusty and Krab. But all I want is Krabby Patty. I thought Plankton went to college. Doesn't use basic English. Oh yeah, if you didn't catch that. Hey, watch it, you porous freak. No, that's not very nice. And Mr. Krabs again with his short eye stalks, which is weird that his body is bigger than his eyes. I mean, they're really short. Could they have made it any more taller? I mean, could... Like, I don't know. Yeah, I've never made a video game before. But I, I don't... I don't know, you know, the, the sprite limit for games like this on characters, but I'm pretty sure they could have added a few more sprites for his eyes. Um, maybe not. But yeah, that's Spongebob Legend of the Lost Spatula for the Game Boy Color, but I'm playing it on a Game Boy Advance SP. Small pocket. Uh, it's a great game. I like it. It's a little difficult. But it, there's a lot of great references from the Spongebob show that are in this game, and it's great that the game designers added that. They really did their homework on, you know, putting references in here and making it a good experience. This game came out in 2001 for the Game Boy Color. 
I don't know how much it cost back when it came out. I don't have, uh, I, I, I bought this, I got this game within recently, like last year I got this game, um, just the cartridge, not the box. It's kind of difficult to get Game Boy games in, in box these days. But yeah, that was the video. I hope you enjoyed. I know it was a little different. I usually do Spider-Man 2 stuff on this channel or just Spider-Man related stuff in general. But I just wanted to make a quick little video since it's been a little bit. And I thought, well, why not a SpongeBob one? So yeah, thanks for watching and have a good day.